What's going on YouTube? We are finally back with another video. A little bit of a hiatus. You know, OG map on Fort came out. I was playing that a ton in my off time that I did have instead of making videos. That's on me. That's on me. But we are back in the biggest week of college football rivalry week. So to celebrate rivalry week, we have an ultimate rival tournament. I took eight teams and their rivals, of course, put them in a nice little 16 team tournament and we're gonna have them face off see who can make it to the end and see who can be the ultimate rival tournament winner as you can see on your screen right now we have the 16 teams we have the game the biggest game of the college football season Ohio State taking on Michigan this weekend on Saturday at noon game day will be there it's going to be the biggest game of the season. Whoever wins guarantees a spot in the college football playoff pretty much as long as they don't lose to Iowa in that lousy, lousy offense they have in the Big Ten Championship. And then we've got USC and Notre Dame, big-time, old-time rivalry. Notre Dame dominated that one 48-20 this year. We'll have that one going. Then we have Alabama-Auburn who plays this weekend also, Auburn has been slacking in the late, late years, but one of the greatest college football plays of all time came from Auburn, Alabama, the kick six to win it. And then we've got Florida State, Miami. Florida State squeaked this one out by seven in Hard Rock this year. And then we've got Georgia, Tennessee, big time rivalry in the last couple years, but Georgia has shown up. And they've dominated in this rivalry. But then we've got Oregon, Oregon State, which is a huge game this weekend after Oregon State almost beat undefeated Washington last week. They got another chance to win a big time game this weekend. Then we've got Texas, Oklahoma. This was an incredible game at the time. Oklahoma actually beat Texas. Texas's only loss is to Oklahoma. But then Oklahoma fell off hard since then losing to Kansas and to Oklahoma State and then we've got Washington Washington State this is probably the uh, worst rivalry game we have on here but I had to involve Washington because they're having such a good season probably their best season maybe ever as they'll be taking on Washington State this Saturday so let's hop in start at the top with the game Michigan hosting Ohio State. The home team will be the home team from this year's matchup. So Michigan will be hosting Ohio State in this matchup. Let's hop in. Here we go. The game in Ann Arbor this year. Like and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And let me know in the comments section who is winning the game this year. Is it going to be Ohio State getting redemption after Michigan cheated for two years to get two dubs just to blow it in the college football playoff? Or is Michigan going to keep it going without cheating this time? We will see Saturday, but we will also see right now in the simulation. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Ohio State comes out on fire in this one, leading 24-7 to in the big house at half. Michigan's got to pick it up, or Ohio State's going to pick up the dub. Ohio State is going to pick up the dub over Michigan, 30-15. to Dominant win by them. As you can see, JTT had two sacks. He played a big part in this game. Hopefully, as an Ohio State fan, this game will end up just like this over the weekend. But Ohio State picks up the first dub of the video. Now we've got USC taking on Notre Dame. Before the season, this game was so hyped up, but both of these teams had a very, very lackluster season, especially USC finishing 7-5 and five on the season with Kayla Williams, last year's Heisman winner. And Notre Dame lost to Ohio State, and it kind of turned into a spiral down for Notre Dame. Let's see who can pull off the dub, and the winner will take on Ohio State. USC coming out hot in the first half, leading 17-6 over Notre Dame. Let's see how the second half shapes up. Notre Dame attempted a comeback, but it looks like they're going to fall up. 
just short as USC is going to win this one 30-21 over Notre Dame as USC will be taking on Ohio State in the next round as USC picks off that pass from Sam Hartman and that's going to do it. And now we've got the Iron Bowl between Alabama and Auburn. You can't have a rivalry video without Alabama and Auburn. Auburn's kind of fell off in the past couple years, but you never know in rivalry games, anyone has a chance. Let's see who's going to come out on top in this one. Just like I said, anything can happen in a rivalry game. Auburn leads by seven heading into the half, and they get the ball to start the second half. Alabama has came back, took in the lead. Auburn's got a fourth and one, 54 seconds remaining, two timeouts, and they've got to score a touchdown on this drive. Let's see what they're going to do. Dropping back to pass, throws it over the middle. They pick up the first down, and they get to right around midfield. Auburn with 30 seconds and ticking, trails by four meaning they need a touchdown on this drive. Second and five, dropping back to pass, throwing right side to a wide open receiver, and they've got it down inside the five-yard line at the Alabama three, and they have a chance to get this upset over Alabama if they can punch this in. Time ticking down. They get the snap off with 16 seconds left. Their quarterback breaks out of a sack, and Peyton Thorne walks it in. And they take the lead with 11 seconds remaining. Seven seconds remain for Jalen Milrow and the Alabama offense to get a field goal or a touchdown. They've probably got two plays left here. And they get instantly sacked. And they will have to call timeout there. And with four seconds remaining, this will be the last play of the game. Meaning Alabama either scores a touchdown on a miracle or Auburn pulls off an Iron Bowl miracle once again. Jalen Milrow chucks it deep, and it's going to get knocked down, and Auburn's going to win the Iron Bowl over Alabama. What a game. Now we've got Florida State and Miami of Florida. Earlier I said Florida State and Miami was played at Hard Rock. It wasn't. Florida State was the home team. They only won by seven, though, so this should be a close one. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Like I said, this is going to be a close one. Miami leads by just one point at the half. Let's see who's going to catch the dub in the second half. It looks like we are going to have yet another upset. Hopefully, that's got something to do with what's coming up this weekend because Ohio State is technically, according to Vegas, supposed to lose. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But Miami wins 31-19 to over Florida State, and they will be advancing to take on Auburn in the next round. Now we've got Georgia taking on Tennessee. Tennessee will be hosting this one. So let's see what's going to happen. Georgia is once again looking very, very dangerous, looking to three-peat in college football. That's almost unheard of. That is wild, but in this video, they got to get past Tennessee if they want to keep it advancing, so let's see what's going to happen. Unlike in real life, Tennessee's actually hanging in this one. They are actually leading by three at half. Let's see if they can pull off an upset and make it three upsets in a row. Is it about to be the third straight upset in this video? That would be wild. Tennessee leads by 7, 4th and 13 for Carson Beck and the Georgia Bulldogs. They have to pick this up. Drops back to pass. He throws a drag route, and that's going to do it. Tennessee's going to pull off the upset, and they will be heading on to the next round. This video has been wild so far. Next up, we've got a matchup that has yet to happen this year. That will be happening this weekend. Oregon taking on Oregon State. Here we go. Let's see if Oregon can avoid four straight upsets as they host their rivals, Oregon State. Let's see what's going to happen. Once again, the team trying to pull off an upset is looking like they could do it. Oregon State leads 23-14 to 14 at the half. Let's see if they can hold on in the second half. 
Oregon State leads, but it's not looking good for them. Oregon has the ball inside the five yard line, trailing by five. Bo Nix drops back to pass. He's got all day. He's going to choose to run it, and he's going to run it in, giving Oregon a one point lead. And that's going to leave him with a fourth and 18. One Hail Mary for the game. Let's see what's going to happen. Oregon looking to escape without being upset. And they're going to get to him for the third straight play. They're going backwards. And Oregon picks up the dub. And now we are going to the Red River rivalry. Texas taking on Oklahoma. Here we go. The Red River rivalry in real life. Oklahoma got the best of Texas. But honestly, if I I think if they replayed it today, Texas would win. But that won't happen except for in this video. So let's see who's going to come out on top. Whole different story in this one. Texas leads 17 to 3 at the half. Oklahoma's got to show up in the second half or they might get blown out. Let's see what's going to happen. Oklahoma has fought back, but they're faced with a 4th and 10 on their own 20-yard line. If they don't pick this up, they are going to lose. They're going to run a halfback screen, and it's going to get tackled right at the line of scrimmage. And Texas is going to pull this one off and win the Red River rivalry. So Texas will be advancing to take on the winner of this next game between Washington and Washington State. This is the final true rivalry of this video because next round aren't teams that are actual rivals. They're just the winners of the rivalry games. So Washington and Washington State cap off the rivalries. Let's see who's going to come out on top and take on Texas in the next round. It looks like Washington's here to take care of business. They're destroying Washington State 24-7. to See what the second half has in store. More of the same in the second half as Washington dominates Washington State 38-14, to meaning they will be taking on Texas in the next round. So that concludes the first round. We are down to just eight teams remaining. We have Ohio State taking on USC. That should be an incredible matchup, especially in NCAA 24. Auburn versus Miami of Florida, two teams that I did not expect to win. Auburn beat Bama, and Miami of Florida beat Florida State. And then we've got Tennessee and Oregon, and then we will have Texas-Washington to round it out. Let's hop in to Ohio State versus USC. From here on out, all the games will be neutral site games because none of these games have been actual matchups in real life. So, to keep it fair, we'll have no home field advantage. Here we go, Ohio State versus USC. In real life, I'm pretty sure Ohio State would handle business in this game. But in NCAA 24, they've got USC playing like nobody's business. They've actually got a higher overall than Ohio State, including a better defense at 95 to Ohio State's 92, which is wild considering Ohio State's got the best defense in the nation, and USC gives up 50 a game. So let's see who's going to come out on top. This should be a good one. It's a close one at half. 17-14, to 14, USC is leading, and they get the ball to start the second half. Let's see what's going to happen. USC dominated the whole second half, as you can see by the score, 41-21. to They ran away with it big time in the second half over Ohio State. So they'll be the first team in the final four of the rivalry bracket. And they will be taking on the winner of our next matchup between Auburn and Miami of Florida. The two teams that pulled off the upsets, but... Haven't been very good in real life. Auburn and Miami of Florida. One team will be advancing to take on USC. Who's it going to be? We've got a shootout on our hands. Miami 23, Auburn 17 at the half. This one might end up 50-49. to 49. Let's see what's going to happen in the second half. Offenses slowed down big time in the second half. As Miami ran out the clock from 3 minutes all the way down to an empty clock. 
leading by four over Auburn. So Miami is going to be advancing to the final four. Who would have thought they'd be in the final four? Not me, but they are there. Tennessee will be taking on Oregon in our next matchup. Here we go, Tennessee and Oregon. Very, very interesting matchup. SEC team versus a Pac-12 team, future Big Ten team. So, let's see who's going to come out on top. See if Tennessee can pull off another upset. We got another close one. Oregon leads 14-7 at the half. Let's see who's going to come away with this one in the second half. Tennessee tried their best staying in this one, but... It looks like Oregon is going to pull it off in the end, 28-21, to as Bo Nix and Oregon are going to run their last couple plays. Tennessee has no way to stop the clock, so Oregon's going to pick up the dub, and they will take on the winner of our next matchup between Texas and Washington. Two teams having an incredible season and have a good chance at making the college football playoffs if they both win out, Texas could win the Big 12 championship and Washington could win the Pac-12 championship, meaning they could maybe both make the playoffs if they both win out. Let's see who's going to win this one, though, and secure the final spot in the Final Four. Washington dominating just like they did in their first matchup, leading 21-6. to Let's see if Texas can answer back in the second half or... Is it going to be more of the same? Texas has fought back. They have so many more yards than Washington, but they need this onside kick right here, and they're not going to get it as Roma Dunze is going to grab it, and they can just kneel out the clock. Texas outplayed Washington the whole second half, and they're going to come up just short as Washington will be taking on Oregon a future Pac-12 championship upcoming this year. We are down to four teams, three teams that are currently in the Pac-12, and all of them will be going to the Big Ten next year with USC, Oregon, and Washington. And then we've got the ACC's Miami of Florida. So we'll start with USC, Miami, then we'll go to Oregon, Washington, and then we will have the championship this is the closest Miami's been to winning anything significant since I was a child. Let's see what they can do in this matchup against USC and see who's going to be securing the first spot in the championship of the Ultimate Rivals Tournament. Defensive first half, not something you'd expect in a USC-Miami matchup, but 10-7, to this one is anybody's game. Let's see who's going to come out on top in the second half. Miami ended up winning it. I accidentally let it sim all the way through, but USC could not pull it off in the end. As Miami's going to pull off the upset, Ohio State couldn't beat USC, but leave it to Miami of Florida to do it. They secure the first spot in the championship, and they will be taking on the winner of Oregon and Washington. It's the last year of the Pac-12, but it has been an electric one. It has been an electric one with Oregon being insane, Washington being insane, Utah being pretty good, Oregon State was pretty good, USC, they didn't have their best season, but these two teams will be playing each other in the Pac-12 championship and in today's video, let's see who's going to come out on top. Can Oregon get their revenge? Or is Washington going to continue to dominate? It looks like Oregon's trying to get their revenge. They lead 24-14 to 14 at the half. Let's see what we've got in store for the second half. Washington came back and took the lead by one. 13 seconds remaining. Three timeouts by Oregon. Let's see what's going to happen. Bo Nix drops back to pass. He throws across the middle to a wide open receiver. And he's up to midfield where they have eight seconds remaining. Oregon has a real chance here. All they need is about 20-ish yards to get into field goal range. Let's see what they're going to do here on first down. Bo Nix drops back to pass. He's going to chuck it deep into coverage. 
and it's going to get batted down, meaning he's got one more attempt at it. 50 yards out, they're going to have to throw for the end zone because they have no time to get into field goal range. So let's see what they're going to do. Bo Nix drops back to pass, has time, throws it deep, and it's going to be picked off by Washington, and they're headed to the championship to take on Miami of Florida. Let's see who's going to win this video. The final game. Can Miami finish off their Cinderella story, or is Washington going to continue to dominate as they should in this tournament? Let's find out. The final game is here. Low scoring game in this one, but Washington leads 14 to 3 at the half. Miami's got to pick it up, or they could be in for a long game. Let's see what's going to happen in the second half. Miami gave it their best. They were just no match for Washington in the end, as Washington is going to win the ultimate rivalry tournament. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like and subscribe if you did. And let me know who you think is going to win the Michigan-Ohio State game down below. And if you have any other upsets that could happen this weekend. This video was pretty crazy. Miami making it to the championship over teams like Ohio State. We had Georgia. We had Bama. We had Florida State crazy video. Like, subscribe. I'll be back very soon. Peace.